To balance this equation, Sb2S3 plus HCl, let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have 2Sb3S1H and 1Cl. On the product side of the reaction, we have 1Sb-S1, 2Hs, and then 3 of these Cls here. I think it might make sense to try to balance the Sb first. I have 1 here and 2 here, so let's put a 2 in front of the SbCl3. So we have 1 times 2. It gives us two of those. Those are balanced. And then this two applies to everything. So three times two for the chlorines. That gives us six chlorines. Why don't we go and balance the chlorines next? We could put a six in front of the HCl. So we'd have one times six for the hydrogen. That gives us six hydrogens, but one times six for the chlorine. So now the chlorines are balanced. Let's take and look at the sulfurs here. We need three of those. So let's do that. Let's put a three in front of the H2S. Now we have the two times the three. That gives us six hydrogens. That actually balances the hydrogens. And then the one times the three, that balances the sulfur. And we're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with a video for Pushpender there in India. Thanks for watching.